Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js and SQLize with Postgres. So basically, I'm facing one of the issue today. So how we are going to solve the issue that is, here you are found in the issue that error relation user does not exist. So I'm trying to run a query over here. Okay, and it sh show me the error that uh, relation users does not exist. So how we are going to solve this issue? Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So currently, <coughs> the Postgres SQLize, what it do? It basically, here you can see that I am defining, let me go to the database, then we have a models, okay? So here we are defining the users, okay? User table. And uh, where the data is fetching, that is users. Okay, so by default, what the Postgres equalize do is it always pluralize the table. So basically, I am just using the user, but it's saying that the user's table. So it's a issue over here. Okay, so make sure to if you are facing that issue, you need to add one more line into your model that is table name. So you have to restrict the table name. Okay, so here you can see that I have restricted the table name. Okay, so that that should use the user. Okay, so you can see that just add this table name user and save this one and try to run the query again. Okay, so here let's go. Here you can see that the relation user does not exist. Okay, so currently I, I am unable to create the table right now so one thing i need to add one more thing okay so here we have to enable this one to create that table into the db okay so let's try this one so here you can see drop table if user is key now the query is run and it will create the user okay now let's try and go and check this one test db whether the table is created or not so here we, here we go with this one test db one Okay, let's close this one and here we have the schemas. Then here we have the schemas. Then we have a table over here. So tables, then you can see that if I go and get the all rows, now it's created. So the error, I think, gone. Let's try to run this query. So here you can see that empty result and there is no error. So this is how you can fix this issue very easily. Any doubt, any query in that, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.